Welcome back everybody, Holiday Doc here, and this is Behind the Sticks, episode number one for Modern Warfare 3, and I am an excited, excited guy to get back into this series because it's one of my personal favorites, and if you're unfamiliar with what this series is all about, well, this is where I do a live commentary, jump into a random game of whatever game type I feel like playing at the time, and we try to win that game as a one-man wrecking team, crew, army, lone wolf, whatever you want to call it. And while I do this, I give you very close insight into why I choose to do each of the different uh, movements and methods on the map. You know, I break down my own strategy while I'm doing it. And this is going to give you some good insight into how you can take some of this and bring it into your own game and playstyle. So first thing we're going to talk about is the class I will be using today, my objective class. Because we all know if you join a public room, your teammates, well, they ain't going to go for the objective because we all know each of these game types is all just one big TDM anyways. So, <clears throat> excuse me. First, uh, the gun is going to be the ACR with focus. Focus has got to be used. It doesn't need kick. The gun is so steady anyways. But uh, when you do get shot, the focus is going to allow that flinch to be very minuscule and allow you to stay on target that much better. Secondary, MP412, just more of a personal preference. I hip fire my pistol at uh, close range quite a bit. I don't rely on it for any sort of long range kills. Semtex, concussion grenades, and perks of choice are going to be Sled of Hand Pro, Hardline Pro, Steady Aim Pro, like a boss. And uh, if you're wondering why I'm using Steady Aim Pro, well, the game sounds in this uh, particular game, Modern Warfare 3, are very loud. So the chances of somebody actually hearing you are pretty slim, especially in a public room match setup. And my kill streaks, the strike package is going to be the support where I'm rocking the UAV, counter UAV, and the pesky fly swatter. Anything flies in the air that I don't like, I throw down that EMP and we call it a day. So let's go ahead and jump into our random game of the day and you know... I have been playing a lot of Domination. I'm going to stick with Domination. I love Domination. And I'm going to try to avoid jumping into a, a started game already, but uh, that's not going to happen because my luck is not that good. So we're going to start Domination on Fallen, a map that I don't play too often as I have been heavily focused on the competitive side of things. And we are trip capped down 52 points. Not so happy about this. So first target takes me out with the Truth 95. So already I get a bit of an insight into why we could be possible you, you losing. Is the whole team a bunch of Type 95 super ultra tryhard noobs in the public room? Could be possible, could be possible. So I've got this guy over here hiding in the corner. I've got one in the building and the guy snuck up on me, spawning on B-Dom. Very unfortunate and I, I can definitely say we're probably not going to win this game. But we know at least we can take something out of it. And cause some, maybe some frustrations for the opposition. Uh, maybe at least grab a flag here and re reduce the amount of lead. This guy is a, uh, he's hugging the ground, wiping his ass on the ground. And being a general noob, using that final stand. First number tip, don't use final stand. Use anything but. To take down the first kill. Always going to be watching the direction that you're most likely to be attacked from. And since we already saw that they were spawning on B-Dom, I was more paying attention to the commentary and not where I should have been looking but... Uh, regardless to say, you should have been looking in that middle B-cut area. So I got stunned from my right over there, and my teammate is going to get shot from behind. So I'm going to turn around right away and see if I can snag him or not. But he did get taken out from Marty Drop. So that's not too bad. It's going to buy me a little bit more time. My teammate's going to run to the back there. And now it's my job to continue to push on these guys. Never, Don't give them any leeway. So I take out the one. The second guy is going to pop up behind me and, you know, just continuously <laughs> pop up behind me. So... Gonna throw down the counter UV, counter their counter UAV, and uh, I don't know why I called in my UAV as their counter UAV is still up. So nobody knows that we're losing A or C. My teammate's looking over to my right. I'm gonna look into the center, and those stun grenades are good indication that they are coming from that mid part of the map. So I'm gonna back up off of A for just a second here. Wait for that flashing to go down and uh, move into position afterwards, but. Uh, I'm not a camper and I don't have that much patience, so I'm going to move into the center of the map now and try to get some control on this B side. And came up with a nice kill there. The Truth 95 did not come up on the upper hand of this one. Ooh, got the turn on. Nice job here. So I got to pause up and wait for my health to regen just a little bit. I do not want to be picked off by any sort of nonsense because my health is low. 
Whoa, what's this guy doing in the corner, Johnny? Look at this pro! He's got Assassin Pro holding on to that corner camping like a complete noob and uh, stressing us Modern Warfare 3 players out because that is the norm or as it seems here in these public rooms. So we got beat on. He's going to jump out out of nowhere there on the right-hand side here. I'm looking for that corner. And underneath the B cut-through area is another Truth 95er. And it does look like we are playing against a group of four. So, uh, you know, it's not the greatest. It can be a little frustrating at times. And uh, this is kind of what happens to me quite a bit when I try to play by myself. And I do recommend to anybody, if you are going to play this game, you know, at least... At least bring one friend. Bring a friend. You know, uh, one friend will save you a lot of stress, and I think that thing's gonna kill me. Yep, sure is. Um, party up! This game is designed for teamwork. You're not gonna find teamwork in a public room setting with a bunch of random people that think every game type is just a big game of TDM. So I'm gonna. I don't really want to push the A flag. They've got a lot of focus on it right now. I gotta watch this top side of the sniper tower. And I want to head over in this direction here on C. So I'm going to pick off the one kill. Look to my left because that's the most likely area they're going to be headed. Wait a couple seconds here. Wait for a respawn. Maybe he's going to come chasing me or go for the revenge kill, which is which is very often the case. And now that I haven't really established where they're going to come from, we do lose, which is a shame. Uh, hopefully I'll get out another one of these tomorrow because this one wasn't really what I was going for. We did lose, and I did jump into a very terrible game and a terrible representation of what this series is all about. But hopefully you gathered a little bit of good entertainment or comedy, commentary, not comedy, comedy being the Truth95 and the Assassin Pro digging a, digging a hole in the dirt, putting his wiener in there. But uh, other than that, um, if you have not already checked out these two videos that are on the screen, we've got the best game of domination I have ever had, followed by... Probably one of the best design map breakdowns I have ever done. If you are a competitive player or a public room player that just wants to get the know-how on how to play this game just that much better, go ahead and click on these two uh, maps on the screen. And thank you again for tuning in. My name is Holiday Doc, and I am...